hi girls and guys, it's Lady Elyria here and I'm joined with Gentleman Match. Hello ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we're playing Bad End. Uh, we left it last time, we were with the priest. She's a priest. Who unfortunately we think got killed. Oh. <laughs> by the shadow. We now have three choices. Do we stay in the barrier, do we pick up the staff, or do we run away? I really hope at this point you guys have left comments about what you, what you would have done. Um, we personally are going to go for staying in the barrier. We've got the whole supernatural in our minds, and you know, we've got the so. we're, we're in the we are in the salt circle. That's like the, that's like the barrier stayed up and when the priest last, died. We've only got to last till morning because once morning comes, hopefully the shadow's going to fuck off. And we're also hoping that if the barrier does go down, we can grab that staff. Yeah, or at least fight it somehow. So let's watch. Because you're stuck in a shrine, you can't really escape. <laughs> yeah, where am I going to run? So hopefully this won't get us killed. Let's find out. Bad M1. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, shit. No, oh, fuck fuck's sake. sake, yo, hey. <laughs> Three. Three choices again. If there were only two choices, it would be easier. Still, the probability of choosing the correct choice in, in one third, yep. duh, there's also a chance that my next choice will kill me. Yep. However, I won't know until I try. I remember the conversation with... Kenami. Konami. 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 Oh, look, there he is. There's no way I believe that a person can die from playing a stupid video game. Let me give you some advice. I advise you to stop playing. Although I don't buy into this crap, it's not worth taking the risk of losing anyone else. Oh. <laughs> I'm just an ordinary student, but if I die from this, then I'll leave behind nothing but misery for the people who matter most to me. Well, you should have thought well, that before you, you fucking should be played the game. That, yeah. yeah, okay. With a two-thirds probability of dying, is it worth the risk? I hesitated before choosing. <sighs> should I make a choice or stop while I'm ahead? Continue. Yeah, we're going to keep doing continue on this playthrough. We're, if we play it again, we might do different things, but... At this point, I, I, I want to see... If you stop, you're going to die. I want to see what happens. No, I can't stop here. I understand there are people who care about me, but I don't give a shit. But somebody has to do this. Maybe I should leave a will to say I am playing Bad End. If I die, the game does kill people. I wonder how far Yuji got. He only played it one night. I don't think very far. In all fairness, we've only been playing it for one day. No, we've been to school. Yeah, but you were playing like middle of the night, so it doesn't really count. Shh. I have to find out what happened to Yuji, There's, so there won't be any more victims to the sick game. Let's do this! <coughs> I turned back to the game screen. Is it going to make us fucking choose again, isn't it? Yep, stay the barret. What should I do? The only reason I said because the priest, when the priest died, or supposedly died, the barrier hasn't gone down. The priest said not to leave the barrier under any circumstances, so we stay here and hope the shadow gives up and leaves. It's gonna get bored and go home. Fuck this shit on now. <laughs> It'll be alright if we stay inside. I wonder. Then the shadow rushed rushed for towards us. Hey, fuck. Uh oh. BAM! A spark emitted from the barrier and the shadow was pushed back. <laughs> Look, it can't get through. Hey, look there. Tana pointed near where our feet are. Specifically, where the barrier met the ground. Ah! Suddenly, the barrier's wall showed signs of cracks and static. Uh -oh. What does that mean? If this thing fails, will the spirit be able to break through? Yes, that is exactly what that means. The shadow rushed towards us again. Leroy! <laughs> <laughs> A static-like sound is heard as the rest of the barrier distorts and gives out. Oh, oh shit. No, it broke. What are we going to do? Don't ask me. Fight it. Once again, for the third time, the shadow charged at us. Kick it in the nuts. The barrier vanished completely. The shadow immediately enveloped me in the dark shroud of black mist. Fight, oh, fight, fight it, fight it, fight it, fight ah! it. My desperate cries were in vain. No fuck. Kana, I hope you make it out of this. Uh-oh. I think maybe we get bad end. Bad end. Oh, bollocks. Okay, I'm not dead. For now. This, this is terrible. I arrived at bad end, even against another one-third probability. I failed regardless. 
The fear that was waiting in my gut immediately rose to the surface. Uh, I did a double take around my room. Something could attack me at any moment. I looked around for a weapon to use. Good girl. Or boy. You didn't wish not sure. I, I'd be damned if I go down without a fight. Yes. Or anything attack me. The room is completely silent except for the sounds of my heavy breathing. I was frozen to the spot for roughly five minutes. But nothing happens. Huh. Nothing happened. That's a good sign, I suppose. Anyway, let's go back and choose again. Okay. Maybe I'll get it right this time so I can proceed in the game. Hmm. Okay. What should I do? Is that... Or run away. I don't know. I really don't know. Because the thing is, the staff didn't help the priest. Yeah, the staff. And, and he knew what he was he doing. He knew the chance, but the problem is, if you run away, where the fuck are you going to run? But we managed to run away last time. Yeah, but you're stuck in a shrine, you can't really run away. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, run away. No, fuck it. Try and run. Fuck this shit. I might basically. Yeah, just run. Okay. Blaze. Run away. Get, get the fuck out of here! Run, bitch! Run! Ah. The power of the barrier wasn't enough and I can't stand and fight against something I can't touch. Let's get to town square. It should be safe there. <sighs> the thing soon chases after us at a blinding speed. I refuse to let this thing catch me. if we die so what happens we will find out fortunately the intersection wasn't far from the Shinto shrine we finally made it to the busy intersection that was bustling with activity is the shadow still following us screw you <laughs> we may have lost it there was no sign of the shadow anywhere oh my I didn't think this would happen. But if the exorcism didn't work, what should we do now? Let's go home for now and sleep on it. We'll come up with something tomorrow. Yes, you're right. Oh, Emma Harm. I cried as soon as I walked into my room. Because of me, the Shinto priest died trying to protect us. He was a good man. He will be dearly missed by the community, especially Kana. The exorcism, but why didn't it work? This is scary and bizarre. Please, God, anyone, help me. No. That's a relief. I was able to safely proceed without incident, well, apart from the first time when we died, but we won't worry about that bit. Let's wrap this up for the day. The horrors of that game clearly stood out in the playthrough for sure. The powerful Shinto priest's efforts were in vain. I wonder how the schoolgirls turned out. I find myself feeling bad for them. I think the main character has some obvious personality flaws and I'm not crazy about them. However, inside she's probably just an innocent girl that has a bright future ahead. I want her to survive. I'm just worried about the next scenario and what obstacles there will be to overcome. I may die in real life if I make a mistake. I was not only dealing with fear of dying, but my curiosity was getting the best of me as well. The thing that scares me the most is that maybe this is the one game's deadly features. Almost like its addictive properties are what draws potential victims into play the game. No, let's not get ahead of myself. I'll sleep on it for now and continue this tomorrow. The game seems to be taxing on the mind and body. I need to be careful not to overdo it. Good night, peeps. You're so gonna die tonight. <laughs> no, I could. Uh oh. Keep playing. Suddenly, I hear someone's voice. I open my eyes. I couldn't see anything. Where am I? Keep going. Who, who, who are you? Yuji. No, it's me, Kiyu. Hey. Huh? Hey. Hey. Keep playing the game. So keep moving on. 
You can't turn back now. You have no choice but to clear the game. <laughs> Sorry, <I'm going> crazy. <laughs> the voices of Yuji and several men and women were speaking. Stop it! This isn't happening. There's nobody there. Ah! Eh? Eh? Now my surroundings were familiar to me. I'm still in my room. Was was this a, 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 a dream? Yuji's ghost started to enter my dreams after playing Bad End? This wasn't a coincidence. It could have been. The voices sounded so real and were pleading me to continue playing the game. Yuji's voice also said to keep playing. Hmm. Hell, I'll keep going even if Yuji didn't appear in my dreams. Oh, baby. I wolf down some breakfast and come back to my room. Today is Saturday, and therefore there are no classes. I can spend an entire day playing bad ends. Sweet, it might be able to finish it in one go. And delve deeper into the mystery. What is the real motive behind the cursed shadow attacking Cuckoo oh, as Wally the Bad? Yeah, exactly. The answers might be a long way off, but each progressive step is a step towards the truth. All right, let's do this. I opened the mobile phone and started the bad end app. Oh, right, back into my other bedroom. Waking up this morning was less than pleasant. Ouch! My body feels like a lump of lead. My joints and back ache, probably due to the heavy sprinting. The scenario from last night keeps replaying vividly in my head. What will happen now? Even with the powerful Shinto priest defeated, what can an average girl like me do against this thing? At this rate, I'm likely to get killed. I attended school and my anxiety was refusing to let up. Good morning, but as always, nothing seems to phase Kana. I don't like her. I don't trust her. Yeah. I joined Kana as usual. She didn't seem to be taking it as bad as I am. And that is why I don't trust her. Um, yeah. Good morning. I wouldn't even be fucking going to school. Hey, Coco. After greeting her, I quickly walked through the main school gate. I seemed to be unable to hide my anxiety. Hey, I think why. Coco. I'm unable to concentrate on my studies. I was reprimanded by my teacher on several occasions. Hey, do you want to eat lunch on the roof today? Why, so you can push me off? Totally. The roof? Well, the roof of this school was always open. There usually isn't anyone on the roof eating lunch. The stairs are a pain to walk up each time. Yes, stairs. Oh, but it's very nice. They why always wouldn't... look like that. In that yeah. like, even in Bleach, they look like that. But why wouldn't you meet up there? It looks very pleasant. Nalita, Bleach, a lot. I brought tea and bread from the school vendor and made our way to the roof. As expected, no one was there. Yonder Simulator taught me a lot about this bit. But what should we do? I just don't understand it. You're the only person worried about the whole thing. I think you're worrying too much. Just give it a rest, okay? Like, seriously, dude, were you not there? The priest, the priest fucking died. Yeah, you are well suspicious. I know, but what, what if I look for someone else with more powerful psychic abilities? That's probably a little far-fetched, regardless what it, what the <laughs> do. I run into recording this in Pokemon Day, you said far-fetched. I can't bear to see another person die. I want to do something about it, but how do I go about doing that? Yellow pages, all the way. Anyway, you have to eat something so you can conserve your strength. Mm, I need to eat soon. Yes, you're right, of course. I'm always right. I started to eat slowly and wash down the bread with some tea. Maybe some iced tea. Green tea. I like iced tea though as well. Or peppermint tea. <coughs> the shadows seem to only come out at night, so I'm most likely safe for now. Oh, hi. Sup, bitches. Eh? <laughs> what I saw was beyond my wildest expect expectations. The cursed shadow appeared. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> it seems to send the joke after all. I see it too. We only see it when we're with Kana. Yeah. We don't ever see it when we're not with Kana. Well, she fucks off there. Maybe you're black. Maybe you're safe. How dare you? How dare you? What did you say? What did I ever do to you? Why did you appear in broad daylight and at school of all places? 
I assumed it only came out at night. No, it happened after you told us about you were with her boyfriend, though. Mmm. Bitch wants me dead. It only, I told you, it only attacked us during the night. Yeah, you're right. I concluded it's a straightforward. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to be here, though. It is light out. How English people go derive away. from Curtis Shadows. You know what, mate? Go fuck yourself. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, can you come back in a few hours, please? So you're the polite one. Oh, Maybe the time of day doesn't matter. Maybe they can't come out with a lot of people present. What should we do? And she wanted us to be on her own on the roof. Kana. What if she, what if she tell her to get lost then? Kana ask in a hoarse voice. What action do I take? I back like somehow no to save myself. Save myself and Rondo would be selfish and obviously she thinks Kana's her friend. Yeah, I mean the thing is, why would you save yourself and run? And I don't, oh. if Kana runs, but then the, fact, the shadow would go. If going by our theory. If the shadow's after Kana and not us. And if, yeah. But the shadow was staring at us in the previous episodes. Yeah, but as you said, it only happens when Kana But it does seem... When Kana's It does there. seem odd that it's given us a choice to leave Kana or let her run. Yeah, I wouldn't fight back. If we saw the barrier, it just enveloped you. Yeah, what are we going to do? Saving yourself from run, there's no point, because if you try to run, it's like it's just going to get you before you get to the door. Tell Kana to run? See see what happens, yeah. Because the, the worst thing that's going to happen is she's like, nah. Okay, let's try it. I, I just don't trust her at all though, that's my problem. Like, I just, I think this bitch is out to get me. Right, okay, we're gonna tell her to run. Yeah. Kana, get out of here! Eh? <laughs> it's probably after me, I, I think. Get out of here already, I'll find a way to follow you. Move your ass! Shake that thing, na 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 na. Okay. <laughs> Even as Kana started running, it didn't look, look in her direction. Oh, oh. oh dear. So I'm probably its target after all. Hi, Mark. How am I going to escape? Though Kana will probably make it out, I'm not sure how I'll escape. Then... It's cool to even a nice clear day under a blue sky. Don't you think so too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The shadow disappeared as quickly as it came. Oh, would you look at the irony in that. <laughs> it disappeared as soon as the two boys showed up. It seems my theory was right about it not chasing us when other people are around. So the lesson to this is to stay with people all the freaking time. Anyway, I was saved by a hair. My hair? Did my hair save you? I don't think so. Oh, hey Coco. Want to join us for lunch? Have you eaten yet? I recognise the first boy. I've hung out with him a time or two, but since this whole fiasco happened, I've no longer had an appetite. No thanks, I have to be somewhere. Anywhere but here. Go to the classroom. I left the roof and immediately went back to the classroom. Coco, you okay? Yes, two boys showed up and saved me. Well, they didn't technically. They just... Boys? It was merely a stroke of luck. The thing didn't attack me with others present. This I know for sure, but it's impossible to be around a lot of people at all the times of your daily life. It seemed the solution to our dilemma wasn't over by a long shot. I want that. Yeah, we're gonna have to call it. We're back in. Oh, we're back in our real world, so it seems like a good place to call it. So thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying the episode, please leave it a like. If you have any feedback or comments on what you would be doing and what you think that we're doing, please leave a comment. If you're enjoying this series or any other, please subscribe. Uh, once again, I'll leave Jetman Madge's uh, channel link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Bye, see, bye. Toodles. <laughs>